Hello, today a new video in TouchCube DIY playlist. I will teach you the best and correct way to fix a broken 3.5mm headphone stereo jack. This method saves time and money by avoiding mistakes with the wrong part repair. I will show you this technique using Sony MDR headphones, but these step-by-step -step tips and tricks can be used for any headphone repair. To do this DIY repair, you will need a soldering kit. You can borrow one from your grandmother, some heat shrink tubing and a new replacement jack. The first step is to play music and move the cable near the headphone 3.5 audio connector. If the sound comes back for a second, it means the problem is broken wires near the jack. And you can start replacing the jack. If the sound doesn't come back while moving the wires, the problem might be at the other end of the cable near the headphone housing. Start moving the cable near the housing while playing music. If the sound returns, it means the cable is broken near the housing and you don't need to cut off the 3.5mm jack, but instead repair the cable near the headphones. There are several video guides on my channel showing how to do this. If the sound doesn't come back even when moving the cable near the housing, it could mean the problem is with the speaker driver. Open the headphone housing and measure the speaker driver resistance using multimeter in resistance mode. If the reading match the headphone pet's resistance, the speaker driver is ok. There's also a chance you might not find the broken spot by moving the cable. In such case like this, you will need to try repairing the cable near the jock or the housing, without knowing which spot is the issue. I recommend starting with the jack repair since cable damage near the jack is more common. Cut off the damaged jack to prepare for installing the new one. While the headphone housing is open, check the wire colors to identify the correct wiring for the new jack. Typically the wires on both sides of the voice coil are for powering the left speaker if the cable enters the headphones on the left side. The two wires together near voice coil are usually for the ground for both left and right channels and the wire that goes to the other side is for the right channel. This applies when the main cable enters on the left side or the opposite if the cable enters on the right side. Once the color wiring is noted, you can start the 3.5mm jack replacement process. Begin by placing the new jack housing on the cable first, because once you solder the wires you won't be able to add the housing and will need to start over. Carefully remove the cable solder jacket with a sharp knife, being careful not to damage the internal wires. Separate the wires by color, in my case the black wire is the ground. Cut a longer section of the jacket for the ground wire and cut the other wires to the needed length. Then remove the jacket from the left and right channel wires. Cut a piece of heat shrink tubing and stretch it larger. Slide it on the cable, thin the jack contacts and all wires to make soldering easier. If necessary, cut the ground wires slightly shorter. Stretch the cable outer jacket. Solder the left channel wire to the jack contact, ensuring you use the correct color wiring. Then solder the ground wire and the right channel wire. Clamp the cable in the jack to ensure a durable repair. Add super glue where the cable is clamped. And slide the heating tubing into place. Heat the tubing to create a strong fix. Apply a small amount of nail polish to the contacts to prevent short circuits. Add more super glue and screw the new jack housing securely in place. Connect the headphones to a sound source and test them. You can use the TouchQ DIY left and right channel test video or a face test video to check if everything is working correctly and the headphones sound as good as new. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Good luck with your repair.